I'm gonna show you how to make crispy chicken tenders with chili garlic sauce. Hey Salam, I hope you guys do well. I'll also have back for another video and this time I'm making chicken strips or chicken tenders with chili garlic sauce. I'm gonna serve these chicken tenders with curly fries and you wanna watch till the end of the video for a surprise. Trust me, you're only gonna enjoy it. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with the chicken. I'm using a breast. You could also use thighs, but we prefer you to remove the excess moisture by curing them first. First of all, remove these tenders from the breast. They should easily come off with the help of your hands. If not, then use a knife. Now these breast pieces are quite large, so I'm gonna slice them in the middle. Grab your knife, put your hand on the breast, and slowly let the knife do the work. Fight. That's exactly what we're looking for. Let me show you guys from a different angle. Once you have sliced the breast in the middle, you might have to pound this down to even out the shape. Just gonna cut these into strips now. Perfect. Something like that you're looking for. Grab yourself a bowl and we're gonna remove all these tenders and strips into the bowl. They should feed a family of four or five depending on how much hungry you are. <laughs> and now don't leave this board hanging around, you wanna wash it straight away. Let's season it with a good touch of salt, and with a cayenne pepper. And finally I've got some of the hot sauce. You can use Tabasco, any of your favorite sauce. Now give that a really good mix using your hands. Get in there and properly massage that seasoning and the sauce. And now we're gonna let this brine in the fridge for three hours, or if you can't do it for overnight for the best results. Your chicken can only taste good if you take care of it, right? <laughs> for the chili garlic sauce, we're gonna start with the mayonnaise. Now it doesn't have to be a mayonnaise based sauce, but in my opinion, it works best. It with these beautiful large egg yolks, going in with some of the yellow mustard, touch of the vinegar or lemon juice. We're gonna use some now and some later. You wanna break the egg yolks and give that a mix. Just combine everything. Now while mixing this, add a light touch of oil and combine that, add a touch of oil again and mix that. We don't wanna break that emulsion, so you wanna Follow this process. You want to continue doing this until the mayonnaise comes together. Now you can use any neutral oil like sunflower, you can even use light olive oil. And once you start to see this beautiful emulsion, it will be hard to break, so you can slowly stream in the oil. You can see the mayonnaise has started to come together. Or we're nearly there, just adding fine part of the oil. And as you can see, the mixture is starting to double in size. That's exactly what we're looking for. I'm just gonna clean off the size with the help of a spatula. All right, so that looks amazing. Now for any garlic based sauces, it's best to slice the garlic in the middle and remove this green sprout. This will remove the sharpness and won't impact the flavor of the sauce. Now going in with our garlic paste, going with a paste of red chili, you want a good amount of that. And just a little bit from my side. Panic, boom. <laughs> Now to add a bit of the smoky flavor, I'm using a chipotle paste. For those who don't know, chipotles are basically jalapeno peppers which have been dried and smoked. A slight touch of this hot habanero sauce, red chili flakes, Korean red pepper flakes, give with a smoked paprika, MSG, coarsely ground black pepper, good pinch of salt in there, here with a fresh lemon juice or you can use a bit more vinegar if you like, pickle juice from gherkins, and finally some of this honey so we can balance out the flavors. Now give that a really good mix. We have an amazing color on the sauce. That's exactly what we're looking for. The consistency is perfect. Have a little taste of the sauce. Mmm. Oh my God. That is so, so good. Our amazing chili garlic sauce. Excellent. Done. It's gonna go perfect with our crispy chicken tenders. And trust me, this is one of the best sauce that you guys are gonna try. For the dredge, grab yourself a ball in with a plain flour. Let's season this beauty in with the mustard powder. Good touch of that. Celery powder. Always have a little taste of the spices so you know exactly what they taste like. Going in with our garlic granules. Onion powder, of course. Some of this white pepper. Good old black pepper as well. It was a smoked paprika. It's got a beautiful flavor. It was a cayenne pepper. Don't be scared of using some MSG. I like a bit of this chicken seasoning in there. Salt to taste. And finally a good touch of oregano powder. A really good mixture of that. Beautifully mixed, just set this aside for now. I'm so excited for these chicken tenders. For the wet batter, crack in two large eggs. Now invert this pickle juice which has been mixed with some water. A good pinch of salt in there. And some of this chicken seasoning. Give that a good mix. And now slowly mix in the flour. Make sure they're not lumps. Or right, once nice and smooth, just set aside. Just gonna wipe this off. You'll also need a cup of flour in another bowl. Now before we start coating our chicken, turn up the heat around medium high, with the oil. You can use sunflower, vegetable, or any other neutral oil. You wanna bring the oil temperature to around 160 Celsius, and you wanna maintain that temperature. Grab your seasoned flour, your wet batter, plain white flour, and of course your brine chicken. Let's remove this. 
Give that a good mix. Remove the chicken from the fridge at least 20 minutes before you start cooking. All right, so this is how we're gonna coat it. First, the chicken will go into the plain white flour. Just gonna get a nice coat of that. Ideally, you wanna use one hand for the wet batter and one hand for the dry, but I don't have time for that. <laughs> Anyways, give that a good mix. Coat all sides properly. Grab another one. If the strips are quite large, then just do three at a time. Three or four, depending on the size of your pan. I'm gonna shake off the excess flour, and this goes into the wet batter. We're gonna get a nice coat of that, and then just get off the excess like so. Now this goes into the seasoned flour. Coat that. Grab another one. Again, give that a good coat. And my third piece. I've quickly cleaned my hands. I don't like you use my left hand. So now you wanna give this a really good mix. And you wanna coat this properly. Just go in a circular motion first and press onto that flour. One of the best chicken tenders that you guys are gonna try, trust me. All right, so once you've done that, grab your chicken, get rid of the excess flour. Look at that, that's exactly what we're looking for. Now this goes straight into the hot oil. Coming up to around 160 Celsius. Bismillah. Just keep the chicken there for a few seconds. And let it go. Same with this piece. Now we're going to let the chicken cook for around six to seven minutes until the internal temperature has reached 75 Celsius. 165 Fahrenheit and we have a beautiful golden brown color on the chicken. Now while that's cooking you can start preparing the next batch of your chicken. Don't waste your time all right. Looks so so good. Now once you have this amazing golden brown color on the chicken you want to drain off the excess oil and remove it on a rack. And just make sure your oil is nice and clean before you fry the next batch. Go in with our second batch. This smell love. Look at those beauties. Mmm, one of the best chicken tenders that you guys gonna try, like I said. Our guess of a mouth-watering chicken tenders are done. They look so crispy and delicious. Let's take a layer by. Bismillah. Mmm. Flawless victory. Mm. Grab yourself a bottle with your crispy curly fry. Gonna season with some of this Cajun seasoning. Cup of salt. In the oil, we're gonna fry some of these onions, peppers, and red chilies. I'll also go with some of these pickles. Just gonna get a light brown color on these. That's exactly what we're looking for. Add our fried onions, pickles, and peppers, of course. It's gonna add an amazing taste and aroma to our fry. Some of the fresh red onions and peppers as well. Throw in some of the chili garlic sauce, if you like, or you can serve it separately. And now you're just gonna give it a really good mix. Of amazing curly fries with onion and peppers. Damn, that looks so so delicious. Let's have a little taste, shall we? Look at that. Mmm, these are an amazing flavor, you know. All right, guys, let's play this over with your chicken tender. They look so so delicious. Of amazing curly fries. They look absolutely gorgeous. And finally, some of our chili garlic sauce. That looks so so delicious. You can also serve these tenders or strips on a bun. Grab your toasted bun, a little bit of the sauce, it's amazing, trust me. Our chicken tender goes right here. Some of this coleslaw, onions and peppers, pickles if you like, some of these fries if you like, and top off the bun with more sauce. Just look at that. And here's a little surprise for you guys, our mouth-watering strawberry and Nutella milkshake. Grab yourself a blender with your juicy strawberries. A little bit of this strawberry essence. For more flavor, I'm using a strawberry conserve. Here with our Nutella. I like some of these hazelnuts in there, you know, it adds a bit of crunchiness to it. Going in with our vanilla ice cream. And finally, some of the milk. Now cover and blend this until nice and smooth. Bismillah. Or right, let's check this. So nice and thick. I'll grab your glass and I'm gonna add some of the Nutella sauce into there. Add our thick strawberry and Nutella milkshake. Oh, it looks so, so good. Of course, we're gonna add some of the cream. And don't forget some of the strawberries. Mmm, that looks so delicious.
guys, I'm gonna try this. It looks so, so delicious. Let's start with our fries first, of course. Bismillah. Wow. Mmm, those are so, so delicious. One of the best curry fries that you guys are gonna try. Mmm, the peppers, the onions go really well with this. All right, onto our chicken tenders now. I'm just gonna add some of the sauce onto here. Doesn't that look amazing? Bismillah. Mmm, wow. The sauce really take these chicken tenders to the next level. That is so, so good. And the tenders are so nice and crispy. Trust me, these are packed with flavor. Love to take a bite of this. All right, let's try with strawberry and Nutella milkshake. Mixing that cream, bismillah. Mmm, wow. Mmm, so, so irresistible. Mmm, so creamy, it's packed with flavor. You can really taste those strawberries, the Nutella, a delicious milkshake, you need to try this. Mm. Apologies, I'm on a diet, so I'm not gonna drink all of this. But anyways, make sure you definitely check it out. Like I said before, these are one of the best chicken tenders that you guys are gonna try. Can we please get this video to 5,000 likes? I would really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, make sure you like. Inshallah, see you next time. And then salam. Make for your mom. Make for your dad. Make for your family. Enjoy.